A BBC investigation has discovered that several charities involved in the government's flagship Welfare to Work programme have been forced to close. Around 100 jobs have been lost and all the charities say their involvement in the work programme played a significant role in their collapse. This bleak building was, until the summer, the thriving offices of Ecoactive Services, a small social enterprise in Surrey. They used to help the long-term unemployed find a job under the government's work programme. But when they ran into financial difficulties, their contract with the government stopped several investors from helping them. At least four charities have closed in recent months, partly as a result of the work programme. The payment by results nature of the contract under which most of the fee for finding someone a job is paid only when they've been in work for an extended period of time, has created severe cash flow problems for some charities, especially during the recession. A survey of voluntary organisations out today suggests that almost half of charities with a work programme contract believe it could fail within the next six months. I've heard no positive feedback from voluntary organisations. Some have gone bust. Some are withdrawn from the programme. They have real problems with the cash flow and the way in which the contracts are structured. And this is proving very, very problematic for them. A spokesperson for Ian Duncan Smith, the Work and Pension Secretary, said it was right and fair to taxpayers that organisations are paid only after they've got people into work and kept them there. Michael Buchanan, BBC News.